So I ended up cutting uh, cutting all the hands down, 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 down from the shaft or how you call this hockey stick I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, there's two, four, six, eight hands. It's called a bunch when they're on the stick. It's a bunch of bananas. This one is called a hand. And usually there's like 10 to 15 uh, bananas on a hand, depending on the variety. So eight hands and a quarter hand here. <laughs> Three on that one and all the other ones have between 14 and 16. Only one or two has 16, the rest of them 14 and 15. So in total, counting the two that I ate, <laughs> in total we have 119. So we have almost 120 bananas. Which is not bad. You know, it's not a huge bunch. It was a it was a medium-sized bunch. And I guess I guess this is the limitation uh, of the natural growing because I saw bigger bunches. My friend David had uh, bigger bunches. And actually uh, actually we had a, we had a little uh, debate last time about uh, fertilizing bananas and stuff because he's, uh, he's also growing in kind of permaculture style but he also uses uh, synthetic fertilizers and mined uh, potash and I don't use anything but compost and, uh, and mulch so uh, so he said that uh, Okay, I understand you don't want to use um, unsustainable uh, fertilizers and you want to do it all, uh, all naturally and stuff but in the meantime, what you're gonna do? So your trees grow, grow slower and uh, they produce less and uh, in the meantime you have to buy fruit, right? So you gotta buy fruit from, you know, imported bananas from Costa Rica or wherever so I, you know, I don't, I don't buy fertilizer. But if I buy bananas from from the store or from from the farmers market, if it's imported, and even if it's not imported, even if it's local, they still use uh, fertilizers and pesticides and whatnot. So he, David, was arguing that I would be better off uh, buying some fertilizer myself, not even necessarily the the synthetic MPK, but just some potash because that's uh, that's what bananas need uh, most and you know other stuff I have compost and mulch and topsoil so nitrogen and uh, phosphorus should be alright so he just suggested I would buy 0050 fertilizer uh, potash which is not sustainable because it's a finite uh, material and it's gonna run out once we mine it all out but Excuse me, mosquitoes. Buy some of that stuff and spread it around and see uh, see what it does. So yeah, he has a good point. What do you guys think? Should I use uh, some potash or other uh, synthetic fertilizer, or just stick with uh, mulch and uh, and compost and topsoil and you know whatever I can get my hands on, horse manure and uh, whatnot, organic matter from farms, leftovers. You know, this is not bad, but uh, if I would use some extra potash, maybe I could, instead of 8, 9 hands, maybe I could have uh, 12, 15 hands, almost double. So what do you guys think? Is it worth it or not? Of course, you gotta spend money too. It's like, I don't know, $30, $40 for a bag of, uh, for a 50 pound bag of uh, potash, the 0050 fertilizer. It goes a long way a bag, but uh, you don't have to use a whole lot. Just a handful here, just spread it out. So basically, David was arguing that uh, only for the first first two three years until you build up uh, the soil and stuff, you know, to to fill up the reserves, the bank, and then then uh, by then you can have you can bring in lots of mulch and compost and all that stuff, and you can build up the the soil. So I kind of want to do it without fertilizer. I've done so uh, the first uh, two and a half years, but 
but I can see at the point because you know my trees are growing slow and the yield is not the best but um, I don't know what do you guys think should I use some extra fertilizer mined or uh, synthetic for the first uh, few years until uh, my trees get established and uh, I can build up the soil or should I, should I just go uh, slower and do it all naturally full nutty bra <laughs> let me know in the in the comments what do you think is uh, is best how would you do it what what would you do if you would be in my place all righty friends <laughs>